Hey, it's time of Dish with D. That's me. Thank you for clicking on this video and making yourself a party. I am Denise. It is Tuesday. And Tuesday is probably one of my favorite videos to film is what I eat in a day on the Weight Watchers plan. Some tastings. There's a lot going on in this video. There's a lot of tastings. There's a lot of food. But first, I like to talk about an unboxing with my favorite company, Dossier. Dossier Fragrances are one of my favorite companies to work with. They are sponsoring this video today. Love them to death. They replicate high-end fragrances at a fraction of the cost. I like to smell good like anybody else, but I don't like to spend that kind of money. And so far, the fragrances I've smelled from them are fabulous. Now, they range from $29, $39, and $49. You get discounts for everything on there. When you sign up, you get a discount. Multi-bottle purchases, you get a discount. And they give me 5% off to give to you. Denise M5 gets you 5% off. You can toggle that, like you can stack it. Very rare companies do that, but they can do that here. So that is fantastic. So I thank them. I just love them. I love fragrance. I love to smell good. So let's unbox the next two for this month. All right, minimal packaging. You gotta love that. Very minimal, but they're beautiful logo. So this one is Ambery Sage. Okay, this is a unisex fragrances. They have male, female, and unisex. Unisex could like go either way, depending on your personality or how you like to smell. So definitely, um, you know how a lot of these fragrances smell already because you've smelled them in store. Let me tell you something. I've not been able to tell the difference between these and the one that they're inspired by. I'm being honest with you. I don't bring anything that I'd be like, <sighs> no, they really smell good. Every time I wear a dossier fragrance, somebody says to me, oh, you smell good. What are you wearing? Sometimes I tell them the real thing or sometimes I say dossier. <laughs> Actually, I always say dossier, but they don't know. The one time they said, I smell delicious. Okay. You open it up. Iconic scents, designer quality, and no markups. I love that. You get your little card. Gives you all your notes and how, you know, what the, what did it inspire by. All right, the top notes are bitter almond, sage, and lavender. The middle notes are leathery notes, orris, and vanilla. And the base notes are amber, blonde, woods, and tonic bean. <laughs> this is, how can I say this out loud? This is inspired by Tom Ford. Fucking fabulous. Don't get mad at me. That's the name of it. Apparently, he's got a perfume. Look at that. Okay. It retails for $350. If you can spend $350, then you go ahead. But I'm not spending $350, but I want to smell like I do. Now, glass bottles. I love the minimal labels. And your magnetic lid. Doesn't come off. So you take it off. Love that. Because how many of us lose the lids? But yeah. All right, let's spray the card. Okay. This one is just back. This is one of the most popular ones. Oh, God, I can smell it from here. Oh, that is intoxicating. I can see the unisex because it can go either way. Oh, that's amazing. I love this. Oh, God. This may be my fragrance. Oh, this is probably going to be my fragrance of the day. This is amazing. Oh, my God. Dossier. Now I know why it's hard to get. Makes sense. Yes, please. They are vegan and cruelty-free and clean ingredients. If that is something you're looking into. I always say, check out the link below and check them out. Make great gifts, too. I get these all the time because, you know, you know, this one is a male fragrance that we're going to try next. It is called Musky Oat Moss. And this one retails for $335. And on their website, it is $49. So the ones that are really higher, higher, go for the $49. All right. Same idea. Packaging, glass bottle, magnetic lid. And this one, top notes of apples, pineapple, bergamot, middle notes of rose, birch, leaf, and birch leaf and patchouli, base notes of musk, oat moss, and amber. Inspired by Creed, Adventure et de Parfum. Yes. Creed. Okay, I'm excited to this. We all know smells or something that That smells, it's, oh God, it smells like a handsome man. <laughs> oh, God. That's nice. 
try to close my eyes and you could just get you a little excited. It does. But oh my gosh, a fantastic job. <gasps> yes, good job, dossier. So I will have everything linked down below if you want to go give them a try. No hard sell here. But if you're interested in perfumes and don't want to spend three hundred fifty dollars try dossier. You buy one, you will be sold. You will come back and say, D, you're right. I've had people come back to me and say, D, I love dossier. And if you've tried dossier and you love it, even if you don't like it, leave your comment below and let other people know. So let's get on to that food. All right, lunch today. I have one point's worth of this deli turkey, a zero point egg. These are wasa crackers. The sourdough are two for one point. My two point string cheese, cucumbers for zero, the deli half of the egg and carrots to go with my zero point hummus. So my lunch today is one, two, no, one, two, four, four points. For all this deliciousness. It's a small plate, so it looks like a lot of food. I have a, a small plate. That's why they tend to use a small plate. So your plate looks like you have a lot of food, but you really don't. But yeah, I just grabbed a small plate. I need to use up this hummus, it's pretty old. But you know what, eh, I made it. I'll take that chance. All right, time for another tasting. Now these were sent to me for review. I guess my tastings are getting out. This is, now I've had these before and they were okay. I wonder if they've improved. It's been a few years. Eat me guilt free. This one is the chocolate peanut butter bliss. It's five points on Weight Watchers. And it has 207 calories, 11 grams of fat, eight grams of saturated fat, 14 grams of protein, so brownie with some protein, I'm all for that. Nine grams of sugar, which includes the added sugar. 13 grams of carbs. So let's see how Miss Peanut Butter Bliss. Five points isn't too bad for a brownie. I mean, what I like about it, again, it's individually wrapped. You don't feel the need to have a whole tray of brownies, but this is what she looks like. This is how big she is. Pretty thick. Smells like chocolate. Let's cut her in half and see if we can see anything inside. Okay, she's solid. See some chips in there. Let's have a little taste. Not bad, a little dry but not too dry. I mean, it's a good flavor. There's no, I don't feel like, um, like that protein aftertaste. I don't, I don't feel that. Low carb, non-GMO, 14 grams of protein, no preservatives. Love it first bite. So out of five, I'd give it a four. I, I mean, I like the denseness of it. You can see it's pretty dense. Pretty nice flavor, like I said, no aftertaste. That's what we look for is aftertaste. I'm not sure I get peanut butter though. You know, I don't see any peanut butter on the inside. I will tell you that. There's no peanut butter there. There is peanut butter in the photo. Uh, I mean, I don't, I mean, is, am I blind? Could that little spot there be like a peanut butter chip? Possibly. I mean, I don't hate it. Don't know if I get peanut butter though. That's that for today. Time for another tasting. What are you tasting today? A no cow dipped, dairy free, 20 grams of plant protein, one gram of sugar, three grams of net carbs. Now I like some of the no cows, I do. 200 calories and it is four Weight Watcher points. But some of the, like I said, oh, this one's broken. All right, well, I'll show you how it looks. It's a pretty nice size bar. <laughs> it's already broken for me. It looks like on the inside. What's it called again? Dipped. Chocolate sea salt. Well, you can actually see the sea salt on top. I mean, these plant-based taste all the same, kind of dry. I mean, I don't hate it. I mean, it's not bad as as, go, as far as plant-based goes. It's dry. No real aftertaste. I mean, out of five, I'll give it a four. 
3.8. It's not bad. It's a nice chocolate taste. No aftertaste, so that's always helpful. So look at all the sea salt. It's crazy, but that's my tasting for today. Breakfast this morning is Kodiak Cakes Frontier Flapjack and Waffle Mix Buttermilk and Honey. The serving is a half cup. I do a third cup. Just, I think this is plenty. I made one big pancake. I was going to make many pancake muffins, but I didn't really just wanted to get breakfast going here. So this is three points. I also am going to pair it with a light and fit Greek creme brulee. 12 grams of protein in this one. And I've never had this flavor, so I'm excited to try it. Two points for my yogurt. Three points for my pancake. So my breakfast is five points little protein breakfast this morning. Can't wait to dig in. There was some sugar-free um, syrup on that, and I can't wait to eat. I'm hungry this morning. Lunch today is a half ass salad. Well, it's pretty big. I have it packed. I'm trying to use up lettuce and things in the refrigerator, like there's some cucumbers, onions, lettuce, and hard-boiled egg, and some chicken that was in the freezer that I thawed out, and a little bit of fat-free feta. I just have to count my vinaigrette for four points. Yeah, get no dressings left in the fridge, so we're using some oil and vinegar. So this is my lunch today. I may have a couple crackers with it. Oh, there's a horrible egg at the bottom, which you can't see, but it's zero points. So I can't wait to dig in. Having a mini afternoon snack, I remember to film it. I'm having a Raw Rev Glow Bar. I forgot about these. I got these at a closeout sale at Big Lots. 10 grams of protein. These are, I think these are like raw bars, like kind of like clean whatever you call them. These are five points on Weight Watchers and they are, how many calories can I see it? 100 and, 180, and 10 grams of protein. So I'm gonna eat this for a snack for five points. I enjoy this, it's a cookie dough. So it looks like a cookie dough bar. I enjoy them, they're plant, I think they're plant-based. I don't mind these. And enjoy. I didn't use all of it. <laughs> it felt like a lot. So, so this is what I left. I mean, pretty much almost half. So half my scramble, a piece of the Aldi bread, which I did scan at one point. There was like 18 of them listed in there. They're all set a point, so I'm going with point. It's the protein bread. I really, really like it. There's 10 grams of protein in there. I do have about hmm, close to one point of avocado. I need to put some seasoning on that. I haven't done that yet. So that's my breakfast this morning. Yeah, just I can't wait to dig in. I'm really, really hungry. I need to put some salt and pepper on that and some hot sauce. And then we're ready to go and some seasoning on my avocado bread. So yum, yum for me. Lunch today is one of those Zeb pasta agili bowls, zesty garden spinach. Uh, one of these is seven points. It is made from yellow peas. Again, there's really nothing terrible in it. Do I really think it's seven points? Nah. Well, I counted a seven points, sure will. It is 300 calories, um, so it's interesting. I enjoy them, actually, shock of all shocks. But I'm going to enjoy this for lunch today. I need to eat quick, so I had to eat something that could be heated up. Dinner tonight is a pasta, chicken, spinach, and bean combination. I use the Zeb Rotini, the 100% yellow pea pasta. Uh, two ounces is four points. Everything else in this dish is zero. Beans, chicken, spinach, and broth. So I just have to count that. So it is a four point dinner with maybe a point's worth of Parmesan cheese because I feel like it. But that's my dinner tonight. I'm just gonna get a quick breakfast while I wait for the guys. I'm getting in the refrigerator, so it's crazy in this house. So I'm having a Dannon Light and Fit Greek Strawberry Cheesecake Yogurt for two points. And on top of that, I'm going to put some of this strawberry banana dried, no sugar added dried fruit as a crunchy element. It is strawberries and bananas. And it scans at two points. There is no added sugar. It's just the natural sugar. So you can decide whether you want to count it or not. I'm going to count it only because I have points. So yeah, I'll, what the heck. So it's two points for my fruit and two points for my other. So it's four points this morning. Just thought I'd show you what it looks like. It, um, I got this at the Dollar Tree, just in case you're wondering. So this is my, it's like, like a little crunchy fruit. So again, it's there's no sugar added, it's just fruit right in its natural state. It does skin at two points, but there is nothing added to it. It is just fruit that is dehydrated or freeze dried. 
So again, you can decide whether you want to count it. It makes a nice little crunchy element for the top of my strawberry cheesecake yogurt. Shall we taste it? Because <laughs> I've never done this before. I mean, that's pretty good. If you're afraid of granola, I mean, it's just freeze dried fruit. I think it's pretty good. Hey, D, what are you eating? I am eating a Bananas Foster Progert Bowl. Yum. One package of clean, simple proteins, Bananas Foster, for two points. One cup of non-fat Greek yogurt for zero. Some sliced bananas for zero. A dusting of the Twix shaker for zero. And about three points worth of walnuts, because why not? You know? And some Lily's chips for zero. The one I have on there. The only thing I have to count was my protein and my nuts. So that is my Clean Simple Proteins Progret Bowl. You also know I do can give you 10% off with my link in the bio. Or just use the code SQUAD10. Here's my dinner at Taco Bell. It's a Cantina Power Bowl for 12 points with chicken. It's my favorite thing to get there. I absolutely love it. It is scrumptious. Highly recommend. Time for a tasting. What are you tasting today, Dee? I hold this a while back from the drugstore. It is the Lesser Evil Sun Poppers. Vegan sour cream and onion, grain-free, fueled by the sun. They are non-GMO. They are certified paleo, grain-free, vegan, gluten-free. And they have a U, Esther. So they are 130 calories. You get about... 28 grams or 45 poppers, and there are four WW points. Uh, six grams of total fat, zero, half a gram of saturated fat, 16 grams of carbs, no sugar, one gram of fiber, and three grams of protein. And this is what they look like. They said you get 45 of them. They remind me of those noodles that you got from Trader Joe's, like those weird pasta things. They're plant-based protein. I like them. There's the ingredients. But yeah, 45 for five, four points. I'm told. So good. Lesser evil, simple snacks, clean snacks. U.S. organic. It says watermelon and pumpkin seed protein. Which I've never heard of that, but... There you go, some poppers. Check them out. Having dessert tonight, though I thought I'd share. I'm having a Built Bar Maple Donut Puff. It is five points. It's been that kind of day. There's some days where you just need a little chocolate, and this would be one of them. This is actually maple on the outside. One of my favorite puffs. I'm not a huge puff fan, but I do like the maple. Maple marshmallow. When we sit, put my feet up. I earned it. Saute a veggie combination. I have peppers, onions, mushroom, and one link of chicken sausage sauteed all together. One third cup of your favorite pancake mix. I'm using Kodiak mixed with water. Heat up your favorite mini dash. Waffle maker. Add some batter to your waffle maker. Not too much. I need to put filling in and a tablespoon of your filling. Cook it up. Remove and continue to th with the next waffle. Keep this one in, an, in a nice toasty oven. While your dash is hot, cook up an egg. Mm. Now it's time to assemble your sandwich. And there you have your Western waffle with egg. It comes out to three points just for the waffle mix and top as you like. Breakfast this morning is a Kodiak pancake made into a waffle and made into everything waffles. There's peppers, mun mushrooms, onions, sausage, made into the batter, fried egg in the waffle maker, hot sauce, one point of avocado, and the other waffle. I didn't use all the sausage mixture, so I don't have to count. I only used half. 
So my breakfast is three points for my waffle, zero for my egg, one point for my avocado. My filling for these, all this fun stuff, is zero points. You can catch it on a reel or an Instagram, Instagram reel or Facebook short. I will show you how easy this came together. It's delicious. I can't wait to dig in. It smells amazing. Lunch today is some tuna salad. I have half a can of albacore white and water drained. One tablespoon of light mayo for one point. I diced up a couple dill pickle slices, a sun-dried tomato not packed in oil, onion seasonings. So that is one point for my tuna. One point for the crackers. They are two for one point. These are the Wassa sourdoughs. So that is one point. And I'm going to have a little side of jardinier, little pickled vegetables, because I love pickled vegetables. What's tuna? I know. This doesn't add any points, but man, some crunch and some veg. So I can't wait to dig into this. One, two point fantastic lunch on a Lenten Friday. Can I just reiterate how good this was? Simple. Some dill pickle. A little onion, some sun-dried tomato, seasonings, a little bit of mayo. Don't be afraid to use mayo. I know I was for a while, but I mean, you could fit this in. This is a really nice light lunch. I mean, it's protein and there's a little bit of fat in here and just some crunch of carb. I mean, it's how we eat balanced is how we get, you know, to our weight loss goals. Not skipping meals. Hey, time for another tasting. What are you tasting today as your sauteing dinner day? I am tasting poppy. It's a prebiotic soda in strawberry lemon. These are the latest rages I'm hearing. This is, it does have points. It does have one point for the whole can, but it's only 15 calories. So. Interesting color. Cheers, my lovelies. tasty. I'd give it a four and a half out of five. Very good. Good job, Poppy. Dinner tonight is sauteed peppers, no, sauteed onion, jalapenos, zucchini, and spinach with a piece of salmon filet. I just chopped it all up. So other than a teaspoon of olive oil, there's nothing for me to count in here, but it's a nice good old plate of food. Can't wait to dig in on this Lenten Friday. Time for another tasting. What are you tasting tonight? Eat Me Guilt-Free Protein Brownie in Tuxedo. It is a seven point brownie. You may think that's a lot, but here's the funny thing when we talk about points. Calories are 198 for something that's seven points. Again, calories don't tell you much of anything. It's high in 10 grams of fat, 8 grams of saturated fat, 13 carbs, 9 grams of total sugar, and 4 grams of fiber, and 14 grams of protein. So, let's see how she measures up. I mean, it's still a good deal when you think about what does a regular brownie cost you in points. Okay, not as much how it has all those little things in the picture. I don't see a lot of that in mine. There's one there. So we want to taste that piece. So I would say it's a little lackluster in that department. Let's see how it tastes. Good chocolate taste. It's not dry, which is a good thing. A lot of these protein things, they really taste dry. Taste-wise, I give it a 5 out of 5. A little high in points, a little high in fat, but it's, again, I gave it like a three, the fat that doesn't have all those little things that that, that does. So, that, but all in all, it's a tasty brownie. Good job. Breakfast this morning is overnight oats. Look what's back in my life, cinnamon roll premier protein. I love this stuff. I use one point's worth in my overnight oats with half a cup of oats. Teaspoon of chia seeds and a third cup of non-fat Greek yogurt and a splash of cashew almond milk, whatever you have. And I did put a tablespoon of um, <laughs> of flax meal oh, in this cute little overnight oats container that somebody sent me. How cute is this? It has a lid. 
You can take it, you can put your toppings in there. Isn't this adorable? It does have a spoon, which I, I think I misplaced the spoon, but I have my spoon. So I, one of my lovelies, how cute is this? So yeah, my overnight oats. I haven't had it all week because of the refrigerator, so I'm super excited to eat it. I have half a banana. I'm gonna top this with some pumpkin seeds and some crushed hemp and some lilies, but I can't wait to dig in. I haven't had overnight oats all week and I'm super excited. Can you tell? Can you tell? Oh yeah, I might have it Monday too, because you know. This is my dinner at the Olive Garden. It is shrimp and vegetable scampi. This has asparagus and tomatoes. It was 13 points for this whole plate of food, which I didn't think was bad. I did have salad and one breadstick for eight more points. It was absolutely yummy. I am an Olive Garden fan. Breakfast this morning is a Western scramble. I have peppers, mushrooms, onions, half a chicken sausage, one egg, and a some egg white. Scrambled it up. Zero points. I don't have to count the chicken sausage. There's only half because half is zero points. And I have some Trader Joe's light Mexican blend for one point. I also have a Western bagel alternative bagel for three points. Spray with some spray butter. That is three points. It is 120 calories, seven grams of protein. There's all the nutritional information. You can check them out. They're linked here. You can put the code D in for 10% off if you want to try them. That's a nice size bagel for three points. It is nice and thick. That's what we want when we're talking points and calories. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast this morning. Breakfast this morning is a Western scramble. I have peppers, mushrooms, onions, half a chicken sausage, one egg, and a some egg white. Scrambled it up. Zero points. I don't have to count the chicken sausage. There's only half because half is zero points. And I have some Trader Joe's light Mexican blend for one point. I also have a Western bagel alternative bagel for three points. Spray with some spray butter. That is three points. It is 120 calories, seven grams of protein. There's all the nutritional information. You can check them out. They're linked here. You can put the code D in for 10% off if you want to try them. That's a nice size bagel for three points. It is nice and thick. That's what we want when we're talking points and calories. So I'm going to enjoy my breakfast this morning. Let's taste. Mmm, good tasting bagel. It's not as weedy as some bagels I've had where it's weed. It's like, it tastes like you're eating hay. Pretty good. I give this a four and a half out of five. Good job, Western Bagel. Time for another tasting. What are you tasting today? This, I hauled this on my weekend vlog from the Dollar Tree. Tremino protein infused water. This one is in Orchard. It is, has seven grams of protein. It is just regular water. 28 calories. There's nothing. No, there's no points in it, I checked. But there you go. Let's see. It's not fizzy. There it is. Hmm. It's kind of apple and cinnamon. It's actually delightful. It's interesting. The water tastes like apple cinnamon. But heck, you want to get some protein in and it's just water infused. Low calorie protein drink maintains and replenishes muscle, increases energy and en endurance. Curbs appetite and provides hydration. Go to your local DT so you can pick this sucker up. Pretty good, I give it a five out of five for that flavor. Time for another tasting. The Deli Crepe, I love this brand. I find them at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. This one is smoked Gouda lentil chips for four points, 140 calories, you get 16 chips. I love these. I know I would. Five out of five for me. These rock for the size and taste and crunch. Great job, Daily Crave. Check out your local TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Get that. Here. Dinner tonight is meatloaf, potatoes, and carrots. It is rainbow carrots for zero points. It is two and a half, three points of potatoes. I'll say two and a half points, about three points of potatoes with some ketchup. I don't worry about the ketchup. And my meatloaf is four points. Can't wait to dig into meatloaf and potatoes. 
Thank you so much for watching. If you are new here and you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, join us here at Dish with D. We'd love to have you as part of our YouTube family. And we have a fantastic Facebook group, Dish with D's Crew. We hash it all out there. So if that's something you're interested in, check out the link below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed any of these foods that I ate or tasted, let me know in the comment section below. There was a lot of tastings in this video. I didn't realize how much I was tasting. Well, honestly, I was out without a refrigerator all week. So I was, was kind of like, I wasn't doing much cooking, but it was fun to do a lot of these tastings. A lot of these things I've had around that I've hauled in several food finds videos. So I thought, and I am mentioning that I did have them in the food find. So a few of them were really good. And that Dollar Tree find for that water... And I think I hauled the wrong one in the video. My son actually bought the water at when he went to the Dollar Tree the other day. And I thought it was fantastic. What a deal. So I think I grabbed, I didn't realize he had two of them. I grabbed one, but there is two different flavors of that water. So I am going to be on the hunt. It wasn't at the Dollar Tree I was at, but I'm going to be on the hunt for that water at every Dollar Tree I go to. And you should too. 10 grams of protein for a glass of water. That's bonus. So lots of food, lots of tastings, some delicious perfume. Again, thank you to Dossier for sponsoring this video. I love you guys. You guys have the best. You make me smell good for a fraction of the price. I don't have to spend $350. $49. You can smell good too. So like I said, my discount, Denise M5, is stackable with any of the deals that they have going on there, which is fantastic. It's very rarely offered for companies to stack a discount that they give us on top. So I am thrilled. So again, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, like I said, join us here at Dish with D. God knows what's going to go on in here. This is a channel that you don't know what's going to come up. But I will guarantee you good, delicious food, friendship, and fun definitely will be on here. So if you want to be part of that, click that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and giving this little channel that could a chance to can. So Thank you so much. I can't do what I do without you guys watching and subscribing and thumbsing up and commenting. It means a lot to a little channel like me to have your support. It means everything. So it doesn't go unnoticed. So thank you so much. We will dish another day. Bye-bye.